Hi y'all, this is Dr. Helen Sue, and someone asked a really great question the other day about grief um, and normal grief. And I wanted to share because I thought it's a really important topic that we don't talk about often, which is what is it like or how do I grieve or am I grieving if the person who passed away or died um, is someone I had a really difficult relationship with that I've been angry with or estranged from or just really didn't like or was really terrible to me. And if you don't have a place that you can talk about this honestly, then I hope this video will just give you a couple pointers to think about, which is it's okay to be angry or sad or relieved or have a lot of regrets about losing somebody with which you had a really difficult relationship. It happens, let's be real. I know there's a cultural pressure to feel like we can't ever say anything bad about somebody who's dead, but that's not realistic, right? So I'm telling you that you don't have to feel like you have to lionize or canonize the dead. Um, they were a whole person. Sometimes with grievers, I explicitly say, let's talk about what was really annoying about your person or hurtful. Um, even the most loved person is not perfect. And just because they've passed away, it's not realistic to have to like make them out to be some kind of perfect angel. It's okay to, to talk about the whole person for what they were, including maybe their shortcomings or the places where you had disagreements. Um, don't censor your own feelings that know that it's also normal that sometimes there are feelings of relief or that I might be more sad about the relationship I never got to have with this person. Maybe they never were the right kind of parent that I had dreamed of when I was little, or maybe I'm more sad that we never got to talk it out and, and I never got to feel understood or have my say. And I'm more sad about that than actually missing this person's presence in my life, but that's real too. And if you feel that way, you're definitely not alone, that there's a lot of families that are not an ideal picture perfect family. Um, I would dare say most families. And so it's okay if that's your experience. If there's a lot that feels unsaid, that's a good time to talk it out with somebody who's really understanding and non-judgmental. Or if you don't have that, a confidential therapist or write it out, write out all the things that you want to say, write out all your truths. Um, even if you're not going to share it in real life now, I've had um, clients write it all out just to get it out of their hearts and their minds and even burn it or send it in some way or leave it for the person even after they're gone. Say your piece to find a way to live with the loss and the regrets and the anger. Know it's normal, they aren't here. You don't have to rewrite your whole history out of respect for the dead. It's more respectful and healthy to honor um, and process the reality. And I hope that your grief journey and your understanding will go a little smoother um, knowing that you have company if this question is also one that you might have had too. Take care. Mm -hmm.